in ninth grade uh, in biology class we had uh, the usual dissection of uh, fetal pigs and uh, I took I took the remains of that home and, and kept uh, the skeleton of it and I just started branching out uh, dogs cats I suppose it could have turned into a, a, a normal hobby like taxidermy and all I know is that uh, I wanted to, to see what the insides of these animals looked like. I, I, um, there may have been some violence involved, some underlying subconscious mm -hmm. feelings of violence. Uh, I just, it was, a, it was a compulsion, it became a compulsion. What would you do with the, with the dead animals, Jeff? Take them back in the woods, uh, skin them sometimes, uh, Slit them, slit them all the way open. Uh, look at the organs, feel them. Can you describe what no, you were thinking? No, I, I was, I was. It was just mystifying to me how how the insides of the animal looked. Uh, there was a sort of ex, uh, general excitement for me. I don't know why. Uh, it, was a, it was exciting to see. I was drinking a lot during that time. And just, uh, I don't know, looking for something to, uh, some way to find some fulfillment, some, some pleasure. And I acted on my fantasies, and uh, that's where everything went wrong. Did you ever tell yourself, I have to stop this? I must stop doing this? Yes. When it was going on? After, after the second time, it, it seemed like the compulsion to do it was too strong, and I, I didn't even try to stop it after that. But uh, after, before the second time, things had been building up gradually, uh, going to bookstores, going to uh, the bars, the gay bars, uh, bath clubs. When that, did, when that wasn't enough, uh, buying sleeping pills and, and using it on uh, various guys in the bath clubs, it just escalated slowly but surely. And uh, after the second time, which was uh, not planned, uh, it was out of control. It felt like it was out of control. Were you relieved to be arrested? Part of me, part of me was, and part of me wasn't. Explain. Uh, par I don't know. It's it's like uh, I don't believe I have a split personality, but you. you you know the feeling where oh, you're you're sort of glad about something, but on the other hand, you're not. That's that's how it was. I was. It was a relief not to have to uh, keep such a gigantic secret that I had kept for so many years. And once I saw that I had no choice but to face it, I uh, decided to face it head on and uh, make a full confession. So uh, I am glad that the secrets are gone. I, I just get uh, angry with other people who, who think that uh, they have a right to, uh, to somehow try to blame my parents for what happened. That's not right at all. No one has the right to do that because they're totally innocent. They had no knowledge of it. And uh, that angers me. There comes a point where a person has to has to be accountable for what he's done. Can't go, can't go around making excuses, uh, blaming other people, or other things. So I, I alone am the one who is responsible for what's happened. The only motive that there ever was was to completely control a person, a person that I found physically attractive, and uh, keep them with me as long as possible, even if it meant just keeping apart of them.